You asked me for my favorite fonts and in this video I'm gonna show you all fonts I used in the past years for my videos, for my short films and also give you some extra fonts to play with. All these fonts are free and I put a link for each font in the description to download. And I also want to show you how I edit my font in Final Cut Pro to make it look more vintage, a little softer. So let's start straight away with the first font, it's Gurmukhi MN, a really clean and filmic font with some non-symmetrical weight distribution. I used this font for Cinematic Norway or some other cinematics like Croatia by Drone. I think this font really uh, fits to travel themes. I already saw a lot of uh, music videos also using this font. Second font is High T S C or TC, they are both really similar. It's a really clean, minimalistic, straight font. I used it for example in uh, Cinematic Berlin. I used to add some subtitles to some of my films. Uh, I never used templates. I just typed in really small information, maybe a little description, maybe little details about the film, about the actors. I also used to um, translate um, the title of the film in some of my edits like Colors of Corfu. I just translated it to Greek. I think this gives it some more um, detailed touch fitting to the film theme. Next font is uh, Sultan. I used a lot in my video portraits and also in my travel films like Tons of Fuerte or the video portrait of Raquel. A little bit more experimental and extravagant. I used it as well in Cinematic Kiev for my Sri Lanka film and Colombo. I like this font a lot since it has some character. It's not a font that you see often. The latest font I'm using is VVDS Organum. Uh, this is the font also used in my Visual Minds collection with the front printing here and the back print. Um, we used um, VVDS Organum for all shirts and hoodies. This was the go-to font for my latest six or seven video portraits. I really like this puffy, soft look of this font. If you soften it up, give it some glow. Um, it also can look really vintage. I, I love to use um, the font in lowercase letters only. Um, to enhance this softness, this puffiness. You can play a lot with it with colors since it's so puffy, it's so sweet, it's not too serious. Here for example on uh, Julian Paula video portrait, uh, on the video portrait with Alina or many others. On my latest projects I'm using the same font VVDS Organum but in only capital letters and this really shows how versatile the font is. In capital letters it gives you a whole nother vibe, it really looks like a movie title font for me since it's not so thin it also has some character i'm really loving this font recently i want to give you four more free fonts i really like and i might use in the future and that could really match a certain type of project since they have a really unique style for example the dough it's a font leaned uh, towards fashion reminds me of fashion magazines this font can really match to a fashion film or a film with a classical stylish approach then i got two simple but also futuristic block fonts it's a futura or railway both are really shining if you use a big font width i think you can combine different font widths uh, with these two fonts really nicely choose a thinner uh, font version then go for a bigger one um, stack them above each other makes a great font for modern looking thumbnails also for modern and clean looking titles with a more simplistic, minimalistic, but expressive approach. Next up, we got Empire Crown. There are a lot of different versions of Empire Crown. Uh, it's a really unusual font. It kind of has some cyberpunk vibe for me to it. Uh, it could be used in a uh, short film uh, with a big font, maybe some smaller font below, um, really a character font. I might use this one in the future. I uh, really like that one and its uniqueness. The last font I got for you is Edition. This is like a really uh, thin block font. This really reminds me of uh, cinema posters. This really thin cinematic font below the movie title displaying the crew and the actors. I used this also uh, below Tones of Voyager, for instance, uh, where I displayed the actress, the location or the music title. I think you can combine this font greatly with other font to uh, give it some cinematic poster touch, uh, but also works well by itself. Let me show you straight away how I edit my font in Final Cut Pro to make it softer, a little bit more vintage, filmic, to blend into certain projects. I like when the font is not uh, perfectly sharp 
looks like it's aged a little bit, a uh, little imperfections. Got a nice screenshot here of the Porsche film Choose Thrilling. I use this one for my how to create movement tutorial. I'm selecting custom font, just dragging it on top of the screenshot here. Then let's go for the VVDS Organum, all caps, movement. And you see um, it's by nature uh, really sharp and clear. And um, what I'm doing first here in Final Cut Pro is that I'm going to face. Um, I'm showing face to change color. He can choose color and um, to give it a complementary touch to the blue. I'm going like a um, yellow orangey tone, maybe like this. And also like this color since it matches to this vintage font vibe we are going for. What I discovered, what's really um, making this vintage fact stand out is if you give it an outline and um, you give this outline like a glow in red. I think this red is already pretty good here. Um, I'm giving it some blur, not too much, just a little bit and some more width like this maybe, yeah. Why not? And you see it's uh, way too sharp right now. And what we're gonna do is to add some Gaussian blur. Choose the Gaussian blur effect, drag it onto the font. Now you see the Gaussian blur is way too intense. So we're gonna drag this down to about three, four, maybe even five. Five is maybe a little bit too strong. Maybe we'll go to four and then we can add some glow to the font and you can also choose the um, color of the glow maybe we go with a more reddish glow and now I would say the width of the outline is a little bit too strong like that yeah I, I like it and that's pretty much how I soften up the font with the Gaussian blur and how I add glow and some outline I hope you found a new font that you can use in your future projects if you like the video, leave a like and comment what you want to see next. You can also follow me on Instagram. I post some behind the scenes and small edits over there. And don't forget to check out the best clothing brand, Visual Minds, clothing for creatives, oversized, fairly produced clothing in Europe. See you in the next one. Peace.